Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while, but trying to get on a little more steady cadence for videos. I've got something for you here today. We're going to talk about cleaning filaments. So, first question probably is, what is a cleaning filament? Well, it's a piece of nylon that uh, is intended to flush out any of the gunk and deposits that gets left behind by your you know, ABS, PLA, PETG, whatever filament you're printing with. Um, basically, you run this through, it pulls the finer particles that kind of get stuck on the inside of the uh, nozzle assembly and will help to prevent future clogs. It can, in some cases, unjam a clog as well. Um, you could do a, like a cold on um, some clogged filament in a nozzle. Um, but mostly what I use it for is when I switch between two different types of filament, especially going from a hotter filament to a cooler filament, so like a ABS or a PETG to a PLA, um, because the nozzle is not getting as hot for the PLA as it was for the ABS or PETG, and if those little micro deposits of ABS or PETG are still stuck in the nozzle, it can impede the flow of the PLA. Um, so that, that's what I use it primarily for. I also use it when I'm switching between colors of the same type of filament. Um, you know, when you're, if you're sensitive to, like, you're, you just printed something with a, a black or a dark colored filament and then you're trying to print something with white, you might get little specks of um, whatever previous color filament you were printing in or... Um, you know, that first few layers will have like a gray color to them or, you know, whatever blend of white and the color you were printing before. Um, I don't do that one quite as often. Usually I'll just kind of purge some extra filament through when I uh, reload the next color, but it, it can be used for that as well. So anyway, I'm going to run through um, how to use this uh, properly in your printer and before I do that though, I'll just mention, this is made by eSun. I got it on Amazon. We'll have a affiliate link in the description below for you. Um, I think it's 100 grams is what it comes. I've had this for a little while now and I use it pretty religiously when switching between um, filament types. It's gonna last forever. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't see, my, see myself going through this anytime soon. Um, but uh, it's made to print up to 300 Celsius, so it should cover pretty much all of the standard printing filaments that you're going to be messing with. Um, I know, like, I, I do a lot of ABS and PLA are the two main filaments that I use, and I print ABS at, like, 235, 240, and I print PLA at 175, I think. Um, so this, when I load this in, I bump it up a little bit to maybe like 240, 250, pull this through to get, pull the ABS out of uh, the nozzle and then go ahead and drop it down into my PLA printing temperature range and then pull a little bit more through and um, then I'm good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the printer um, up to temperature here. Preheat extruder one. I had ABS in here previously, so I'm going to go ahead and go up to 240. And then we'll get extruder two also up to, actually, I think I'm going to go to 250 on both. Okay, so we're gonna let that heat up. Um, I already pulled out the ABS that was in here, um, but I think in one of these I had a black and then in the other one I had um, like a teal colored filament and or I might have pulled that out and put black in it, but we'll see when it comes out. While that's heating up, I'll just show you guys on the close-up camera some of the other pulls that I've done with this in the past. So here is a, uh, I think this was a green PLA that I was switching 
switching out to a different color. So you can see, you know, as it, as I was pushing the cleaning filament through a lot of green PLA then this kind of transition zone. And then we get to just the straight clear cleaning filament. So that's when I know we've got enough run through for the next color. Um, kind of similar situation with this guy here, but with black, so you can see the um, black kind of splotches of previous black filament coming through as, as the uh, cleaning filament is run through. Let's see, one of these guys I have, this guy right here. This is a good example of just some gunk that was left inside of the the nozzle. You can see those like couple of little flakes of black here. Here and there. Um, so those were just little fragments of filament that you know were caked onto the outer walls of the nozzle and this cleaning filament was able to pull pull out. Let's see, looks like we're up to temp on both of these, cool. All right, so just give the end a little trim. We'll start with this guy. I usually just kind of help it along here. You can see it looks like we had like a red in there before, I was mistaken. So, just gonna pull out. As much of that red as we can. Might just bump this up a little bit hotter. Just to make it a little easier to push through. And you can also run the printers, um, you know, extend filament through this. I, I do it both ways. Um, but basically the idea is just to continue to push filament through. until you get to a significantly clear run here. So it looks like we're pretty consistently clear there. Okay, cool. Just pull that off and bring this a little closer so you guys can see. See where it started out red here, and then it slowly kind of transitioned to the just white cleaning filament color. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that out, give it another quick trim. A little higher, and we'll do the other side as well. This side looks like we had black ABS.
How are we looking there? Still a little gray. It's getting harder to push. Pair of pliers to help uh, guide this through. It is kind of a slow process, but ever since I started doing this, I haven't had hardly any clogs on these printers. Okay, so we'll go ahead and pull that. Looks like looks like we still could use a little bit more, but you can see the difference from basically pure black, then coming into gray. And then kind of a lighter gray. So I think we're getting close. Okay, let's check that out. Okay, I think that's it's looking pretty white to me. So I think we've got both of these guys cleaned out pretty well now. Now, if you wanted to try to clear a clog, partial or full, uh, what you would do here is go ahead and let this temperature come down on your nozzle. I'm just going to bring this way down. We're going to let it cool, and then you're going to do what is called a cold pull. So we're just going to make sure that we've, you know, got some stuff of this filament in the, um, you know, just up to the nozzle, and then we're going to let it cool down significantly, and then we're going to pull it out. And that would, um, that's going to yank out, hopefully, any larger chunks of filament that are stuck or jamming your nozzle. You might have to do that multiple times. Basically, you're kind of trying to fuse these two filaments together and then use one to pull the other one out. So that bond could break. You know, that bond may not be that strong to begin with. Um, it could take a few few attempts. But, you know, if it works on the first, second, third try, the amount of work that you did to clear that jam by using this filament versus taking the whole nozzle apart, um, cleaning it out, replacing whatever is inside could save you a ton of time um, and frustration. So, but I think using this as a preventative maintenance step um, in your printing is a better, better move. Okay, so we're down to about 80 degrees Celsius. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this latch down, my pliers, and pull that filament out. And you'll see we actually did get a little chunk here. It's caught probably toward the top of the heat break. That's what was causing um, that resistance when we were trying to feed this in to begin with. So that was, that was a good move there. This is exactly what this stuff is for. <laughs> Pulling out random crap like that, that gets stuck in places it shouldn't be. Um, and, you know, making your life easier, 
so you're not having to troubleshoot weird things that are happening, um, you know, in places that you can't really see um, inside of. So good move there. All right. So I think that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys found that insightful or learned something from, from that experience. Uh, if you did, give us a like, give us a subscribe, um, and you know, tell us about your experience using this filament or something similar to it in the comments below. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks everyone.